Today, I will cover the most common problems you will encounter while installing Local by Flywheel on your Windows PC computer. Local by Flywheel is an awesome software for hosting your WordPress websites locally. The first error you may encounter is the VT-X slash AMD-V error or Virtualization Technology error. This happens because this is not enabled in your BIOS. To solve it, go to the search menu of your computer, start typing BIO and then go to change advanced startup options and click on that. You come to this next window, you go and select restart now, click on it and you come up to this next window, then you go down to troubleshoot and then click on it and then down to advanced options in the next window. And in this next one, you go to UEFI firmware settings and click on it and then go click restart and the computer will go off. Do not panic. And you have this window come up, this menu, select F10 to go into BIOS and you can use the arrowhead key on your keyboard to toggle within the settings here. You can use the arrowhead key right to go to security and then to system configuration and use the arrow down key to go to virtualization technology and you realize it is enabled. You can use the enter key to toggle between enabled and disabled. For your case, it will be disabled and if it is disabled, use the arrow head down key to go to enabled and then hit enter. And once you do that, use the arrow head right key to go to exit and you see exit saving changes selected. You hit OK and you have this window and you select yes and hit enter to confirm. And that is it. You've enabled the visualization technology. Your computer will go off and then come on again. The next possible error is the EPERM or EPEM error. And this could be caused by two possible things. Go to Windows, click System32, and then click on the drivers, and then click on the folder, etc., and click on Host. Right click on Host and go to Properties below. Select that. And you have this window coming up. And in a case where read only was selected, unselect that. In my case, it is quite okay, so I leave it as such. So after you're done with that, the next possible error is that you may think you've installed everything correctly. And when you go to launch the, the site, you're going to see an error message. And in this case, to solve it, you need to go to your antivirus and temporarily disable the antivirus and firewall. And then once that is done, you go back and then click on admin. You now have the possibility to log on onto your WordPress website. So once that is done, go back again and put on the antivirus and the firewall. And the last possibility is if you already had some other server on your computer, like I have XAMP and I have a website on top of it called InSearch Network. So I'm going to try now on local flywheel to log on with the same website name and give it a wrong password to see what happens. And this is just to test whether there could be any conflict if I use the same name for both servers. So right now I've given in a wrong password and then I go OK and it doesn't work. But watch what happens if I try to access the site. In principle, I shouldn't be able to access the site. But when I try to access it, it seems to work. So meaning there could be a conflict between local and existing servers on your computer. In that case, it is good to choose a name that does not exist on both. That was a quick overview on the common problems that can occur 
when you want to install local by flywheel on a Windows PC computer. Thank you for watching. If this helped you, please consider subscribing and check out my other videos on my channel. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.